At the Baijitan Nature Reserve in northwest China's Ningxiahui Autonomous Region, sand dunes are covered by squares made out of wheat, reeds, or other plants, creating a checkerboard shape on the desert surface. In late August, workers at the nature reserve are fixing the checkerboards under the scorching sun. We work in pairs. One places the straw on the sand, while the other fixes the straw into the sand with a spade. In this way, we can make our work more efficient. The straw squares that make up the checkerboards usually measure one meter by one meter, with half of the straw buried in the sand. The easy-to-build checkerboards have remarkable wind-breaking properties and can also help to keep dune sand in place, allowing soil to form. After enough soil is in place, drought-resistant plants can be grown. We mainly use weed straw to fix the sand dunes at first. Once the sand is fixed, we can then plant some grass, shrubs, or trees. Eventually, the sand dunes stop advancing, and vegetation can be restored. Located on the fringes of the Mawusu Desert, the Baijitan Nature Reserve plays a big role in protecting a nearby airport and railway, as well as tens of thousands of farms, from sandstorms. It is also home to a variety of rare species, like the black stork, great bustard, and whooper swan. All of which are under state protection. The reserve covers an area of 70,000 hectares, of which 70% was desertified when the reserve was established in 1985. After decades of efforts, the straw checkerboard method has brought the figure down to 50%, with a 47-kilometer shelter belt keeping the encroaching desert at bay. The checkerboard method has also helped local farmers boost their incomes. Each day, the local farmers we employ can fix over 1,000 checkerboards per pair. We usually pay 0.25 yuan for each, so they can each make about 250 yuan a day. Devised in the 1950s, the checkerboard method was used to curtail desertification near the Baotou Lanzhou Railway, China's first desert railway, which passes through the Tengger Desert near Ningxia's city of Zhongwei. The method has been widely used in desert regions across China. In the 1980s, it was recognized by the UN Development Program and introduced to desert areas in Africa and the Middle East. Over the years, many foreign experts have come to Ningxia to learn about local sand control and prevention efforts. Last year, we held a forum on China-Arab sand control and prevention in order to share and promote our sand control techniques. The straw checkerboard technique received incredible recognition at the forum. Authorities in Ningxia have also been offering sand control training courses for foreign researchers and technicians since 2006. On August 27th this year. 16 trainees from countries like Yemen, Sudan, Morocco, and Palestine took a week-long training course. Ningxia is one of 12 provincial-level desert areas in China, a country where 27 percent of the total land area is desert. To combat desertification, a national forestation program was launched in North China in 1978. The program is intended to boost forest coverage in North China to 14.95 percent by 2050. Statistics from the State Forestry Administration indicate that the area's coverage stood at 12.4 percent as of the end of last year.